everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this really supremely awesome card. It's so cute, I love this little pizza guy. He is really fun to color. Um, I did a Google search, vintage pizza signs, and that's kind of what I used as my inspiration for all of my supremely awesome projects this week. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog. I'm gonna have a total of five projects using this cute little stamp set. All right, well, I think we'll start with our stamping. And we're gonna stamp this um, checkerboard right here. And I think I, I need a long space for it. So I'm gonna stamp it there on the edge. Let me bring my grid paper over so that I don't mess up my workspace. And we're gonna use Memento Black. You could use Stays On Black as well, but I'm gonna need Memento when I color with my Stampin' Blends. So I think I'll just stick with that. All right, I'm gonna stamp it there on the edge of my paper. And then we're gonna get our little pizza guy and I'm gonna ink him up. Make sure he's nice and inked. All right, and then I'll stamp him right here on basic white. All right, so coloring. Let's start with his um, apron and his pants, I'm gonna use Smoky Slate, and we'll start with Light Smoky Slate down here. And I'm just gonna color in the whole pant leg like this, using the bullet tip end of my marker. And I'm gonna go in when I'm done and add a little bit of shading with my Dark Smoky Slate. Now, of course, you can change your colors if you want your chef to be different colors. Feel free to use whatever you want. All right, so a little bit of dark there under the apron so it looks like a shadow. You can also add a little bit kind of inside his leg like that. And then take your light and just kind of spread that out towards the edge. Okay, so now for his chef jacket, I'm gonna take my light smoky slate and just lightly go along the edges here of his jacket. I didn't wanna leave it just white. I wanted to give it a little bit of color, so I'm just gonna take this um, marker and add just a little bit of smoky slate here. I'm gonna do it on his arm like this. But then I'm gonna take my color lifter and I'm gonna add color to that smoky slate and it's gonna kind of bleed out and make it softer. Okay, and I'm kind of coloring towards the direction I want that color to bleed out on. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing up here with his chef hat. It looks like I may have rolled my stamp a little bit when I stamped it. That pizza looks like maybe it's burnt a little bit <laughs> on the edge. Well, that's okay. That's all right. We're gonna move ahead. It's all right. All right, so there we go. Now, color for his skin. Boy, we have a ton of markers that you can use. We have um, natural tone stamp and blends. Um, so your chef can match pretty much any color skin tone that you want. I am sticking with Petal Pink because I have that right here and it's easy to grab. Now I'm gonna take the darker Petal Pink and just give him some little rosy cheeks like that. Okay, for my pizza, uh, let's start with the cheese. Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna very carefully weave my way around those pepperonis, ignoring this burnt crust up here at the top. That's pretty much how my pizzas look when I make them. <laughs> There's always one part that cooked a little bit too much. All right, and um, that was light. Daffodil Delight, and this is light, real red. And we'll add in that color here. 
like that. Now, I also thought that it needed a little more, so I just took my basic black Stampin' Right marker and I just kind of added some dots, maybe like olives or sausage or something. All right, now for the crust, I found that the ivory marker does really well. So I'm gonna take my ivory and go around that edge like that. And then I'm gonna take my um, Smoky Slate Dark. Let's see, my dark, oh, do I have, yes, okay. And then I'm gonna go around and color in the pie, whoops, the pizza plate, the, the pan. All right, and there we go. Pretty easy. Now there are no dies for this stamp set, so you will have to use your paper snips. And it's pretty, I think it's pretty easy. You just cut off all that excess cardstock and then start by going around the outside edge. I like to leave a, a very thin white border around the edge of him. Um, that little part there under his elbow I'm not even going to cut that out. That it, he's going to be mounted um, on white. Part part of the part of the background will be white, and we're going to line up that elbow there with a white paper, so you won't really even notice it. All right. So I cut off that extra. As you go, you'll find that that the stuff that you're cutting off kind of gets in the way. Now I'm going to come down here like this and work my way around. Notice I am not really moving my scissors. I'm staying right in the middle of the blade and I'm moving my opposite hand, okay? Whoop. And then we're gonna go around. All the way until we get back to where we started. These paper snips are the perfect scissors for fussy cutting. They're small and they're really, really sharp. They definitely do the job. All right, last, let's get up in here, cut out this V and we will be ready. There we go. All right. now. If you have your trimmer on hand, you can cut this out with your trimmer. Let's see if I have mine. No, you know what? I'm just gonna use scissors. And I'm just gonna cut this out. Of course, if your trimmer, if you're not making a video, <laughs> walk over to your trimmer and use your trimmer. All right, there we go. Now, let's start putting our card together. I have um, a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. I cut out two pieces of cardstock. This is real red and garden green, and they are one and a fourth inch wide. I wanted to add a little bit of a vintage feel, so I'm gonna take, how about we close that ink pad up there? I'm gonna take my crumb cake ink, and I'm just gonna go around the edges add kind of a dark edge to our, um, our piece. That's gonna give it kind of that dark feel, or that vintage feel. All right, once you've gone around all the edges and you've got enough of that vintage kind of feel, you can set that aside, and then we're just gonna adhere it to the inside and the outside edge of our piece of basic white. There we go with that one and this one. All right, and then we'll take this um, checkerboard that we did and let's run it across, I don't know, maybe like half an inch above. Okay, and let's snip that off. I'd do better if I look from the back. There we go. 
Now for the sentiment, I am going to emboss it in white embossing powder. So I've got my embossing buddy. This is part of our embossing um, accessory kit, if you will. Like, I always call it the wrong thing. Um, comes with all of these really cool little tools. It will help release any, um, or remove any static that is there that could cause your embossing powder to stick in the wrong places. So together we make a deluxe combo. What a cute thing. Um, my, hopefully my piece of basic black is big enough because we're gonna use the um, stitched banner from the stylus shape dies. All right, so then let's grab the heat tool and it'll just take a second. cutting emboss machine today. Put that here. Grab that die. So I can get it picked up. And set it on there. It's it is a tight fit, but it fits, so make sure you get everything in between. go. All right, and before I put this on, I'm actually going to take my basic black baker's twine. Let's tie that around. Put a little bow over here on the left side. Hold that center piece and pull the ends to get it to the length that you want it. Okay, and then I'm gonna use dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit, let's move this, we want this over far enough, and we'll put this just kind of overlapping a little bit right there. And then we'll put on our chef. And remember, we've left that right there. So I'm gonna just move him over a little bit to make sure that that white is centered there and it's not over the, the red. It's just a minor detail, um, but I wanted to make sure to point that out if that does bother you. Okay, now grab your dimensionals again. See, bring over my little dimensional backing bowl. If I don't put them in a bowl, they are everywhere. All right, set that right there. Now, this is a basic black card base. So you're gonna wanna do something on the inside. You've got a lot of options. You could stamp um, the pizza if you wanted to, um, the little slices of pizza, you could, stamp the chef again you could i mean whatever but i am just going to keep it simple and take our checkerboard and just go right across the bottom and then we will adhere that if i can find the right card on the inside so you have a place to write your message um, if you don't put a piece of basic white inside your black card base and you have to use a white pen which is fine too but I don't always have a white pen on me. All right, well, there you go. I hope you like this card. This is a really cute set. Um, I think it's very different. We've never had anything like it, and I think it'll make a lot of really cute projects. All right, let me know if you have questions. Click the link here, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, check out the other projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.